about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. Better not get involved, man. This guy... doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty. <laughs> Whoa. The guy who painted that... He must have been seriously high. So cool. How do I let Sean... <laughs> Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. And looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. You too quick! Ah! But anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. 
You're... doing your best. Chris is awesome. And... he's got a wonderful imagination. Thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. He's a storyteller. Yeah. He showed up when I was drawing at the market. He gave me some tips. When I look at you and Daniel, how close you two are, I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up, okay? Forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. Uh, hey, how long are you staying at your grandparents? I don't know. Depends on how long Stephen and Claire will put up with us. Well, they stopped by yesterday. They really seem to care about Chris. But I'm afraid they get the wrong idea sometimes. Claire threatens to call social services. That's true. We are not your usual pretty happy suburban family model. But I know things haven't always been good for the Reynolds either. Claire is... hard. A little bit of a control freak. I know Claire likes things to go her way. Or the highway. Yeah. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, wanna set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. Let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick.
I'll stay here in case they come back. Clothes, old stuff. <sighs> Definitely no hidden key. Shit. These are Christmas presents? <laughs> Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Sean, hurry up. Come back. <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? Yeah, not much to see in here. <sighs> Locked drawer. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Sean, I saw Grandma go into the room yesterday. It looked like she left something there. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. Whoa, I'm just looking for a key, not the crown jewels. Ew, are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute, but still, no key here. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Ah. Uh. Okay, Daniel. Uh. Think hard. What was she wearing? Uh, jeez. I think it was that. Yep, it's empty. Come on, where is this card again? No way she wore it to church. I gotta find a way to open that door, or Daniel's gonna keep ranting about it. Gotta find a way to open that door, or Daniel's gonna keep ranting about it. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can't. Come on, Sean. If you can't find the key, I could still use my power. Oh, fuck. Can't find that stupid key. Just go for it. Yes. And don't blow apart the whole house. Haha. <laughs> really? Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? Uh, 
It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably... It's like she almost never used those. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. These pictures are so... random. Okay, Daniel. You've seen it. They looked happy. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just... five more minutes. <sighs> Guess the no-phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. That's how mom used to smell. Why would they remove all the pictures? I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. Karen was still with us then, because they made them sad. Yeah. Dad did the same thing, too. I've never seen any picture of Mom in our home. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. I can relate. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... you... Hey, Daniel. Check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... the hero? I guess. So... Yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. So cool. Hi, Is that an amethyst? <sighs> she was into New Age bullshit. Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. So, you were a friend of my mommy's? I hope she took good care of you. I don't recognize any of these games. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. <sighs> Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. I wonder my mom this playlist is boring as hell. I think it's not plugged. You're not that fluffy anymore, little bear. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. <sighs> Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was, walking my way down to Mexico. Huh. I think I saw a moon eclipse once, before Daniel was born. Karen was still with us then. <sighs> I miss my skateboard and going to the park with Lila. 
They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. <laughs> I can relate. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. <laughs> I can relate. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for Mom? Huh? Let me see- Daniel! Come on. What's it say? Read it! Seriously, stop! Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well... A cop-out, in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just... Stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh, what happened? Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Daniel, just... Wanted to see the room. Yeah, I did. Sean, don't shift the blame to your brother. You're supposed to be the adult. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed. She just feels guilty. I can't fear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that breaking our door to sneak into the room, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Oh, my legs! Daniel, now! Do what? What? 
What's going on? Oh Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? My baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. Matters. Maybe it was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. Apparently, someone logged on to your grandson's Facebook page. Sean, what are we going to do? Go hide in the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car's in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go upstairs. Wait. 